Greetings to you my friends and fellow YouTubers, Darash is here with Darash Tech and today we'll try to figure out how to pick a proper backpack if you're a student. Most students feel that having a laptop briefcase is a bit awkward and old-fashioned and therefore that makes a laptop backpack a nice alternative nowadays. These are not only designed to fit most of your average size laptops but also to protect your computer from falls and bumps that may occur during the day. There are several elements and characteristics that students should look for in a good backpack before making a purchase. So what are those? Rain protection. Any bag whose job is to carry a laptop around in all weather must be rainproof. Waterproof materials will not only keep the computer safe in rain and snow, but they will also protect against spills, leaks and other liquid related accidents. The best case scenario is for a laptop backpack to have a separate and closed pocket for the computer that keeps it safe from outside elements as well as internal leaks and other pockets, say from a bottle of water whose lid isn't shut quite tightly enough. Sizing Computer laptops come in a variety of sizes, usually from 10 inches to 17 inches diagonally from one side to the other. It is important to know what size the laptop is before buying a backpack since the carefully constructed computer pocket is designed for a specific size. If the laptop is too large for the backpack, it will stick out or simply not fit inside. If the computer is smaller than the designated backpack size, students might not be able to use safety features that were implemented for a larger size. Laptop protection Beyond waterproofing, a laptop backpack should have a reliable computer protection technology. The usual form of protection is foam, a hard plastic shell or bow. Some bags are designed with air pockets surrounding the computer to diminish the risk of damage when the bag is dropped on the cement or struck against another hard surface. Even students who consider themselves careful should make sure that they don't overlook this extra element of protection. It could be the difference between a simple drop back and a ruined computer. Comfort and wearability The point of choosing a laptop backpack over a briefcase style or a messenger style carrying case is wearability of the former. Students should use caution if the back lacks strong straps or if the computer is angled awkwardly so that it pokes them in the back. The most comfortable backs have a layer of padding between the contents and the user's back as well as strong, resizable back straps that ensure a close, snug fit. Customization and miscellaneous features Laptop backpacks can be customized in a number of ways, some of which might seem surprising. The size of a backpack can often be made out to order, and many models can allow for a hard shell casing to be inserted into or removed from the back. Most backpacks come with a special port through which you can pass headphone speakers and still others have speakers built into a bag itself. For something even more technologically advanced, students can go for a laptop backpack that features solar panels capable of recharging a variety of small electronic devices. Gimmick, you might say. Well, maybe, but still might come in handy. As for me, I have few backpacks that fulfill the needed requirements. Here is my Samsonite. Well, I forgot the model name, but you can find plenty of those on eBay, Amazon or elsewhere. It's quite sturdy, it's perfect for a business user who is obsessed with style and keeping his laptop safe. The space might be an issue with this one. It's good to keep your papers and laptop in, but if you want to take something extra like a lunchbox or a bottle of water, or you're out of luck. It has plenty of compartments, it's stylish and durable but I do not normally carry it all around with me because of the weight. It's way too heavy for a backpack this size. Protection, you must say, style. Yes and yes, definitely, but, uh, but as I normally don't wear as huge, I can go for something less profound and less weighty. Another laptop dedicated backpack that I have is on the contrary a traveling beast. It has many compartments and it is very convenient to carry it both as a backpack and on wheels in a baggage mode. It's waterproof, it's sturdy and durable, but it's quite heavy and therefore is not my number one choice for everyday school usage. Although for going for a big vacation, it has proven itself to be the editor's choice. You can put plenty of clothes in it and still not use all of them. 
It also features resizable straps on the internals and some extra pockets for water. The wheels on it are very sturdy, I have never experienced any breakdowns or anything with it. Well done Caterpillar! My choice is this Swiss Gear backpack. Yes, you guessed it. This company is manufacturing knives and different gear as well. It has all the compartments needed for school and for many devices that I carry along with me. It has a compartment both for a tablet and a laptop maximum of 15.6 inches. It features also some side pockets, volume adjusting stripes and a neat thingy, thingy I would say it's thingy, on the front side for your coat, jacket or sweater. I rarely use this one, but nevertheless it's good to have. It's waterproof, it's lightweight, it has all the protection features needed. In my next video I will tell you what's inside of my student's backpack. If you're interested, don't forget to subscribe. And what kind of backpacks do you prefer? And what do you require from your laptop backpack? Please share your opinions in the comment section down below. It was the rush with the rush tech. Hit the thumbs up buttons if you like the video, thumbs down if you do not like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to keep it positive. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers! By the way, if you want me to review any of those items, do not hesitate to write in the comments down below.